Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at the new Gitzo tripods for 2012 and going forward uh, on the systematic line. This one happens to be the Gitzo 3542 LS model, but this video will certainly apply to other new models of, of, of Gitzo systematic tripods as well. So one of the main things they changed is they updated the whole top plate of the tripod. And hopefully as if I angle this this way, you can kind of see um, how it's got a different design. It's got a little bit of a triangular, more triangular design here. Uh, the main difference is that an older versions of the tripod, it only had a screw right here that you would tighten or loosen uh, to remove the center uh, part of the tripod. Um, and you had to periodically tighten that before you would go out on shoots and stuff because um, sometimes that would loosen up on its own and um, you know if you if it wasn't tight and you weren't careful about that your gear could actually fall out if you were holding the tripod over your shoulder or something like that it would actually work its way loose and um, there have been some miscellaneous reports of uh, it not being real secure and you know your gear falling out um, because the center part would just completely come out of the tripod if you weren't careful before every shoot to use a little, little included wrench um, to tighten it. So anyway, they've completely redesigned it. It's much more secure now and there's no possibility of it coming out because it's got a fail safe device on it. So let me show that to you. In the new model, you no longer need a wrench. It has this built in system to where you just push it in and unlock it. You just unlock it. You just push this in and unlock it like that. And that um, makes it loose. And then underneath here, there's a little button. And if I push that button, then I can just pull the entire plate off. So as you can see, it's completely out. And the little indent button, the little indent, there's a little indent right here when I push the button. It may be hard to see in this video. So both of those things need to actually be loose in order to be able to take this top plate out. Now I can just place this plate back in there and um, as you can see, it won't come out if I, unless I press this lock button on the bottom, it won't come out. And then if I wanna tighten this up, I just simply push this in and tighten it up like kind of like a screw, but it's got this little lever. And then that pushes um, around the whole circumference of the center, um, you know, it tightens it. So it's very secure. Um, very vibration free. Now once it's tight, as you can see, there's no looseness or anything. And if this comes loose at any time in the field, uh, the plate still won't come out because I haven't pressed this button. You need to press this button in order to take the plate out. Now another benefit to this is that you can actually buy replacement plates and let's say you have a couple of different heads on it on your that you want to swap out like a ball head and then maybe you have a leveling plate or something like that it makes it very easy in the field to just do a quick release uh, and swap out different heads so uh, that's another benefit on the new versions of the Gitzos as well um, also on the latest versions they've uh, upped the capacity of the Gitzo tripods so they uh, take uh, anywhere from I think it's like 40 to 50 percent more weight to them, even though they're roughly the same design and same weight uh, of the of the tripods, so they've just increased the uh, weight capacity on them, and they're just a, lo a little bit more of a sturdy design. In terms of the weight and length of this tripod, it's roughly equivalent to the model that it replaced, which was the uh, 3541 LS model. This one is uh, about an inch longer when it's fully folded up, but really no difference is noticed there. Um, and in terms of weight, it's a slightly heavier uh, just by a few ounces. So again, um, I don't notice any difference there. And I do recommend the new versions uh, for the added security features. Again, you know, in order for the center part to completely come out, uh, you would need to have this loosened up and as well as push this locking plate. So it just has an extra measure of security to it. So I just wanted to do this video talking about the new features of the new Gitzo tripods for 2012 and beyond. Again, this one has been the 3542 LS model. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. Take care.